Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to explain to you how I kept my hair washed in a halo device. Obviously, I am not in my halo anymore. I actually had it removed about two weeks ago. But I realized when I was editing my video about washing my hair that I didn't really make an intro about it yet. So, sorry, but this intro is taken in the future compared to the video that you're about to watch of me getting my hair washed. So, um, I was put into a surgical halo for 12 weeks after a car accident where I fractured my neck. And I, it's so gross, but... I realized the other day when I was talking to somebody that the first time I washed my hair after the car accident was, it had been three weeks since my hair had been washed. Three weeks. So, I don't wash my hair very often. I have curly hair. My hair is obviously up in a bun so you can't really see it right now, but I have curly hair. My hair is not super oily, so I normally go about a week before I wash it. So it just so happened that when I was in a car accident, it was about time for me to wash my hair. Not only that, but my husband and I were on our way back from the gym. So my hair was pretty dirty and I was laying in a hospital bed for one week before they put on the halo device. Still my hair hadn't been washed, so now we're at two weeks of my hair not being washed. And then once I came home from the hospital with the halo device, Actually, I think it was four weeks, everybody. Okay. I'm not even going to go back and edit that. I'm just going to let you see now that my math was wrong. And it was actually four weeks. So, one week before the accident, I had not washed my hair. One week in the hospital bed, that's two weeks. One week coming home. One week being in the hospital with a halo is three weeks. And then one week after I came home, so four weeks after, I had four, it had been four weeks since I washed my hair when I finally got up the courage to try to wash my hair. So I do not have a video of this, unfortunately, so I'm just going to do my best to explain it. So close your eyes and visualize it. Um... What we did is I had a guest bed that was low enough that I could get on the guest bed comfortably because this was early, early days with the halo. I was not moving very well. So I got onto the bed. I sat down on the bed. My mom wrapped the halo with saran wrap. I actually might have a picture of that that I can insert here. She wrapped saran wrap and towels around me to try to prevent any water from going down into the halo vest and then I would hold my husband's hands and he I would hold his hands the whole time and lean back I did not feel comfortable laying down it was very painful for me but holding his hands kind of allowed me to lay back far enough so that my mom could get the water onto my hair without me actually laying down. So we took a large mop bucket, put it directly under my head. She filled up jugs with hot water and essentially just poured them over. I laid back, she poured them over my head. Then I would sit up and she would, you know, wash my hair with shampoo. Then I would lay back again. So she would pour water over my hair, rinse it out. I would sit back up again, do conditioner, rinse it again. So the first time, my hair was so dirty. I'm sorry, mom, if you're watching this. But my hair was super dirty. I think she probably had to put shampoo in it two or three times. It was tangled. Of course, the pin sites were kind of in the way. Um, it was just really hard. It was uncomfortable for me. And I just wanted it to be over. So I was being a little bit impatient with it as well. It just, it was really hard. So that was how I washed my hair the first time. And we continued to do that the whole time my mom was here about once a week. So about four, three or four times we did that while she was here. And then after that, I had to find a different way to wash it. Because the first time I tried to wash my hair after my mom left was terrible. It was terrible. So I'd seen a few videos of people leaning forward over a bathtub. I was like, listen, 
if all these people are doing their hair like this, I can do my hair like this too. So I tried to lean over. My husband helped me. We have a shower head. So I was like, this is going to be easy. It was terrible. Not only does my husband not have experience washing long girl hair, I was very uncomfortable leaning forward in that position. So it was terrible absolutely terrible so I heard that a friend had messaged me and offered to help me wash my hair so I sent her a message and said listen my husband just tried to help me wash my hair it was terrible can I please come to your house and have you help me wash my hair so she actually had a special sink in her kitchen which I will link that below but she had a special sink that attaches to her kitchen sink and it's like a salon sink so I was able to put my head into the salon sink it was really perfect it was wonderful it was amazing not only that but bless her heart she washed my hair I had a lot of dandruff so I'm not sure if that's just part of the healing process I'm really sure why I think it was a combination of things but I had really bad dandruff and so she would use special shampoos and just scrub my hair for me trying to get all this dandruff out because it was pretty disgusting um and I don't normally have dandruff so it was very unusual for me but anyway she would style my hair brush it braid it make me look like a human it was so amazing so if you have the opportunity to have somebody wash your hair like that I just went once a week to her for the entire time that I had my halo on you can go somewhere and have that done it was amazing it's the best way just the fact that she was able to style my hair for me was very helpful as well in this next clip you're gonna get to see exactly how she washed my hair and how amazing it was with the halo I'm actually still having my hair washed like that with this neck collar because I'm not allowed to take it off in the shower and I don't want it to get wet and weird so yeah 
my advice to you is to see if you can find somebody to wash your hair or if you can't the first method that I mentioned how I laid back on a bed and used like a mop bucket that option is definitely messy but it could work if you can't find anybody to wash your hair for you. That is how I wash my hair in a halo. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about or maybe I forgot to say something and you're just wondering about it, please comment below or message me. Let me know what your questions are. I have a lot of other videos about living life in a surgical halo and I'm planning to continue making videos of my recovery process so definitely subscribe to my channel check those out and thank you for watching